Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you Siri on the new iPad, and this is obviously running iOS 6. Now, at the event yesterday, Apple released iOS 6, as you probably already know, and one of the new features is Siri for the new iPad. So you can see right here, I have my Retina display, new iPad. This only works on this iPad, although the iPad 2 is supported for iOS 6, it will not work on that. So I'm just going to be showing, you all, showing off how Siri works and how it will look for you once you update your iPad to this version. So if you hold the home button, you'll start Siri and you notice it looks a little different than on the iPhone. So you can see it sort of comes out of the edge right there. And if you tilt it the other way, It'll come out of the center bottom. So it comes up wherever it's most convenient. You can see right here, I'm going to be saying some stuff to it. Now, it does offer a few more features than it did before. This is also working for the iPhone 4S. So you can use any of these on the two systems. For instance, if I say, open YouTube app, that should work. And there you go. It opened. Um, the YouTube app. So I can say something else like Open Stocks app. Now this one in specific is a little interesting because the iPad doesn't actually have Stocks app so it's some little uh, find we found yesterday but anyways I just want to show you that fun. So you can do all the other stuff that you can originally do like what is 10 times 10? Checking my sources. I found this for you. So you, can do, so you can do something like a Wolfram Alpha request. You can also do other stuff like set an alarm for 7 a.m. Your alarm set for 7 a.m. And you see, it does pretty much everything that the original Siri does, plus all the new features and looks great on the new iPad. So I just wanted to make a quick video showing this off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.